Okay, guys, so we got this uh, 2000, was it eight? I think it's a 2008 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Yeah, 2008 model year. And they said there was smoke coming out of the fuse box, and it came in here completely dead. I charged it up for like, uh, I don't know, it's probably sitting in here for two days charging. So it's fully charged right now. Um, well, pretty much fully charged. I'm going to do a quick load test on here. Make sure that we're still good, and I think we're going to be good. So let's crank this up. You can see my carbon pile tester. I'd fix this, but it doesn't go down to zero anymore. Look at that, 300 amps. And we're staying at 10 and a half on our battery voltage. See that? So there we go. So that's good. But this thing doesn't shut completely off. See how it's staying at 50 amps? So, because I had uh, fixed the, the stripped out for the connector. So I'll set this on the floor. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put our lab scope and stuff on here. And we're going to see what goes on with this. See how much current we're getting out of here. We're going to use a high amp lamp. I'm going to put this around both of these cables right here. So this is going to be a, a 1 volt is a 100 amps. I think. No, no. 100 millivolts. Yeah, 100 millivolts is 1. Or 100 millivolts is 100 amps. So 1 amp is 1 millivolt. So we'll set this up and I'm going to get battery voltage too from this. So I'm going to get another lead and we'll connect that up to the battery and then we'll start this up and see what happens. I'm going to get a thermal camera see what gets hot because it's cold. Okay guys, so I got a 500 millivolt scale. So if we see 500 millivolts on here, that's going to be uh, 500 amps and we'll start this up. Got my test leads on there. Let's see what happens. Actually, let's just do key on real quick. Where's the key? Here's the key. You just key on and see where, which way our current goes. Make sure it's going the right way. Oh, and it went the wrong way. So we'll invert this channel real quick. There we go. Five amps we're seeing. So let's start this up. Okay. You can hear that alternator whining. Oh, and look at that. That's a bad alternator there, guys. Look at that. We got bad, we got bad diodes in this alternator. It's growing 30 amps. It's not drawing to be honest with you. Here it won. Um, so yeah, let's take one of these out. Let's go right into our alternator wire right here. Let's zero this. We're not zero. This one had alternator. So we got the alternator putting out 30 amps right now. Let's grab our carbon pile tester. And we'll see what this alternator. But listen to that thing whining. Now we know this battery is like pretty much fully charged. So now we got 50 amps coming out of it. Crank this up to like 50 right here or something. So we're at 50. I think still only putting out 50. You see that? 51 amps. Look at that. We're putting more of a load on here. 100 amp load. 150 amp load. Look at our alternator. Our alternator is still stuck at 50 amps. We got bad diodes in this thing. I bet you there's going to be a whole lot of AC ripple. I could probably set it up for AC ripple real quick. I bet you this thing's getting really, really hot too. Yeah, we're at 180 degrees. 200 degrees, guys. Let's just get this off. We're at 200 degrees. 
on out there. Yeah, that's, that's toasty. Um, like I said, we could check AC Ripple, but this is a bad alternator. Uh, I could try to check AC Ripple real quick for you guys. Let's see. Take our, we'll take our positive lead. And then we'll connect to the positive lead. Because I want these out anyway, because I always test the new... I always test the new ones, that's a lot of heat coming off of that. I bet you that's what the smoke was. Let's check this out. So we'll do a uh, you know, one volt scale. We'll do AC coupling. And we'll turn our scaling down a little bit. So we're seeing almost a 400 millivolt change right there. We don't have a lot of load on this thing. Let's put more of a load. Actually, we probably can't put a, more of a load because the alternator failed. It can't output. That's why it's screaming. Yeah, look at that. We're still around probably 400 millivolts. So I'll shut this off, we'll change this alternator, and we'll see if we fix it. Okay guys, got a brand new alternator in here. It's a new one, not a remand. Got the amp clamp, got all that stuff set up. Um, what's up with our voltage? I wonder where, oh. I move this back over, there we go. There we go, we're at 13.32 volts. Start this up. And let's, there we go. Look at that, no more screaming. Um, oh, I don't have the old hand plug in. Amps is our max. I think this is only a 140 amp volt meter. Here we go. Let's uh, turn all our loads on. Battery lights on. Because of that, let's shut this off. Start back up. Battery lights on because I didn't have that alternator plugged in. Let's turn this on. Let's turn our lights on. Let's put our defroster on. This will put AC on. There we go. And we're outputting 93 amps. Okay guys, so the car's been on for like an hour now. The only code we got is the stored one. I cleared the low voltage codes that were in all modules. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about that. And uh, yeah, we're pulling 62 amps. Everything's still on inside. Put this on real quick. Oh, it's not. I think this ain't not pulling any current right now. Maybe it's because it's hot. So we'll start cranking this up. Look at that. Okay, so we get... I don't want to set any codes. Did you see that? We were able to pull like 90 amps. Now this alternator is going to be crazy hot sitting here because I forgot that I had left everything on. So we got the defroster on and everything and AC and the headlights. So we'll turn all these off. And uh, that should be good. I don't think the rear defroster is on anymore. So now our load should have went way down. Oh, is it still pulling? I was still pulling current. There you go, the car's gonna be a little happier now. So, I think we're good to go here. I'm gonna take this for a ride. They said they have auction sensor codes or something that would come up. And then we'll go after that, but I hope you like this part. See you guys later.
Oh, before I forget, check our AC ripple. Remember, we did that before. So I'll pop this cover off. That'll definitely drop our current down once our fan shut off. Look at that. We're down to 20 amps. So we'll take this, put this on this stud, take this other one, we'll put this right here, and then we'll uh, AC couple, and we'll take this down to like what, a 1 millivolt scale, or a 1 volt scale, yeah, we'll get down to 500. Look at our AC ripple now. Oh, whoops, I'm on a 5 volt scale. Look at that. We have almost no ripple. So now, if we uh, put this on here, we'll just put the load up real quick. So there's our, we're pouring out 20 amps. So we'll crank this up, go up to like 100 amps. Oh, whoops, that pulled our voltage down. Wait, oh, we don't have, uh, there we go, 12 and a half or so, pulling 88 amps, look at that, we don't have near the swing of voltage, we'll take this off, there we go, we should be good to go now, guys, so I hope you guys like it, see you later. Well, guys, I just came back from a test drive with the Jeep, making sure everything's good, and <laughs> the little dome light keeps coming on now, it says lift gate open. But I didn't even touch anything, but I was going down through the e-scan right here through all our test results for mode 6. Everything looks good. Nothing seems borderline except for like the minimum switch voltage or something. Where was it at? Uh, right here. Minimum sensor voltage for test. But I don't even think that's the uh, actual test value. I think that's like the minimum one that's stored in the computer. I could be wrong. I think a couple cars this says the same voltage. Just like this one says 0 0.490, 0 0.490. Oh no. Seems odd that you would, unless it's the value, the minimum value is what it sets. I don't know. So that part I don't know. We have no more pending codes. The only thing that didn't run is the EVAP. So I'm calling this thing fixed. I think they're, I have a feeling that their O2 sensor codes are from the, uh, or actually from the auction sense or not the auction sets there the uh, AC ripple from the uh, that's weird see that dome light flickered but I think it was from the AC compressor putting out AC ripple so I hope you guys like this see you later